Welcome back to Thyanite Plays Xenoblade Chronicles 3. On the last episode, we foiled a plot with Grey and Grey's wife Rosanna from the Hardliners. They wanted to steal power from the city and from Monica, and we put a hard stop to that. On this episode, Travis has some stuff to talk about, because Travis always has stuff to talk about. Because it's Travis. And we all love Travis. Oh, Monica's here as well. Lots of unhappy voices in the city these days. The Doyles are acting as mediators at the moment. I'm just waiting for Garrett to give me a summary of the situation. For once, I'm grateful for his meddling. I'm afraid he'll align himself with these concerned citizens in the end. So that's where we're at. Now we just have to work out how to... Oh, it's, an, uh, it's a soldier. We've got trouble. What's the trouble? What is going on? A number of armory units have taken off without any authorization. Seems they were commandeered by soldiers and civilians alike. Uh, again with this, we, Monica, we really need to put harsher security measures on top of these automatons because the hardliners, they were like, oh, we can totally steal them to take control over the city. And then now actual regular civilians have stolen them and are taking over the city. The soldiers on guard seem to have been bribed to look the other way. Monica, you really need to uh, reassess the personnel. Travis? Got it, ma'am. I'll put them in the ground. I'll start digging the graves. Oh, it's just one thing after the other. Where am I going to get a shovel big enough? Assess the situation. ASAP. How can we help? We are Ouroboros, after all. Monica. This means people who aren't in the lost numbers have left the city, doesn't it? But what are they hoping to accomplish? Mm -hmm. We found them, boss. We tracked the signal of the stolen armor units. It seems they're heading towards Vinizog home. Understood. We'll head out there at once. Personally? Naturally. Prepare for imminent departure. One step ahead of you, boss. Monica, we'll come too. Alright. We'll make a move as soon as we're ready. Can I ask you to go on ahead and provide some defense? Oh, you absolutely can. That's what we do. Lands and Senna, they could just they could tank a mountain falling on them. Let's get to Vinizog home. And to Vinizog home we go. Let's, you know, take an elevator ride because that'll deposit us right at the home. Yes, exactly. They wanted us to get ahead and provide defenses. We just, we can't leave yet until the elevator is, you know, here and ready to go. Finally, the elevator. Let's get, let's get to Vinizog. With the speed of a prouncing Garafa, we have arrived. Oh, Kasami, how are you doing after the, the prison break? We have better things to talk about at the moment, but, you know, we have always time for our friends. Have your missions been going smoothly? Uh, we'll see about how this one goes, but yeah, probably. I've been doing more babysitting than missions lately. Oh, this is Grey. Probably because Grey's in the party. Is that right? Hmm. You know, you're someone I really aspire... Aspire to. To be like. I hope we get to talk again sometime. Oh, so that's how they're doing. You want to talk more? Uh, later. We have important things to do. Look, there they are. Oh, they crashed a boat, because they're incompetent, apparently. This is what we get for trusting civilians to drive highly militarized equipment. Ouroboros. So you're the ones who stole these armory units. Why did you come out here? We want independence from the city. We should apologize for the crudeness of our departure, but it was a necessity. We'd like you to leave us alone in peace from now on. Did you talk this through with Monica? Hmm. I'm sorry that this might get a bit violent, but I'll have to ask you to leave. Now. Oh no, guns. However will we protect ourselves. Oof. Maybe you'll feel more like chatting when your automatons are all lying in neat little scrap heap. Well, can we... Minimal damage to the automatons. We need those things for, you know, city defenses. It would be a pain for Drum Drum and for Mr. Salmon to be like, oh, we need to fix them now because stupid Ouroboros. So what, there are eight of them? Oh no, eight of them. At level 54? Uh, that's kind of potentially concerning. Uh, for this one, you know, as always, focus down on one of them. Probably want to go for the center. Everyone has guns, so the ranged attacks are, you know, ranged. Oh no, Tyon and Mio. Well, that's what you guys get for drawing all the aggro. Okay, so maybe maybe against eight enemies. Can we can we get some healers? Oh, Tyon and Lance are dead. 
You know, I wasn't expecting to lose this fight, but apparently, um, can we just, uh, can we just, can we just reset this? Can we reset this, please? Thank you. Re yeah. Yeah. Can we, can we get Izzard back in the party? Gray is cool and all, but I would prefer how I sw Oh, wow. Okay, we should probably check our, uh, heroes at some point for them to get their, all of their stuff. How we get heroes? I need I need heroes. All right, fine. No, 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 no! I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready. Le leave me alone. Leave me alone. Can I leave? I hope I can leave. Can I drown them? Okay, good. Uh, I don't want to play as Uni, and we need Izzard back. Izzard, Izzard, Izzard. Can we have also make sure check? Check, check. Oh, that'll be good. Get his, uh, second thingamabob. Okay, good. Everything... Okay, let's try this fight one more time. Hopefully, now that we have glorious, lovely Izzard, we'll be able to absolutely... Absolutely destroy these people. Focus down on the fighters, and then... Get the field charge, crit rate up, and then go for the side break, and Mio's dead. Because, genuinely, of course she is. Here, go for Ouroboros powers. Everyone, form up, Ouroboros. We have AoE, we have AoE moves, good. All right, between Phantom Slash and Bounding End, we should have more than enough power. We should also probably at some point, we should really upgrade the, uh, the Ouroboros powers at some point. Hopefully, we'll be able to do things, because I, I do realize that we overheated that, but that was intentional. That was absolutely intentional. I'll go for a side break. We can break these. I don't think they're... Oh, Tyon and Lands are... Lands is dead, and Izzard's dead. Izzard's back up. And then... Oh, can we get a crit at any point? One can only hope. Oh, and then Mio's down, but... Lance is down, but Tyon and Izzard are really low. We're never gonna get Dominion Flower. Oh, and we need the cooldown to hurry up. If we can get a chain attack, it'll be much, much better. Tyon, hurry up, get the break. Cool, I'm pretty sure everyone is still. Cool, we got everyone back. Now we can use this chain attack to heal. We can use Noah. Um. Uh, ba -ba 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 -da -ba -da. Use Senna. Yeah, Senna, sure. We can use Senna for a lot of extra power. And then we can use a bunch of AoE moves to successfully... This isn't, I don't think, gonna get us up to above. Oh, it's not. Only by 12 points. Alright, so that's a lot less than I would have thought, but it's fine. It's fine. Oh, we should probably focus on getting some heals going. Maybe this won't be... A super damage focused chain attack, but it will be a heal focused chain attack. Brave assault! Alright, this this is going to be your standard chain attack. I'll see you at the end of this. Alright, so this chain attack is over, and we used full every opportunity, ample opportunities to get everyone back up to full. We're pretty much. At, Izzard might be a bit below, but we got a million extra damage on that, and that's fairly nice. Six out of eight, it's gonna be child's play to destroy these ones. Especially with our critical hit up field art. Oh, it'll be fantastic. Against only two of them, there's no challenge whatsoever. Especially when you get broken and toppled. I said, especially when you get broken and. Oh, it's already defeated. Alright, well, that's everyone. Fantastic. Much better the second time around. Oh, we have to go all the way up. That is the power of having Izzard on the team. A third healer makes all of the difference in the world. Trust me on that. I think the proof speaks for itself. The pudding is present. Why do we have to come up here? Oh, it's a cutscene. Questionably a qu cutscene. Oh, it's Monica. We, we've, we took care of the problem, ma'am. What made you want to leave the city? I would have thought you could work it out by now. You must have heard the story of the old city, built somewhere else, destroyed by Mobius. Yeah, I know the story. We heard about it from Garrett. And there was that Mobius attack. If they ever actually got past our defenses, there wouldn't be anything we could do about it. 
we came to the conclusion that we had no option but to leave if we wanted to stay alive. I see. We don't really care if you accuse us of cowardice. This is our choice for our future. Our aim is to avoid the total annihilation of the city. If we survive, then we can build up our strength in a few hundred years, we might even be able to attack Mobius. A tackle, attack, and tackle. They're the same word, but with one extra vowel. And a L. A tackle. Hmm. English. I understand your point of view. But, as Elder, I recognize that it's a stupid point of view and order you to get back to the city. But, we aren't trying to stop the Lost Numbers from fighting. So why? You didn't make any preparations before you left the city, did you? Well, uh, I mean, if Garrett backs you up on this, then you should present your plans formally to the Senate. Well, I am the Senate, and I decree that you will not be allowed to leave the city. I'm not denying your choice, so will you go back and at least think the plan through? Ah. Alright, fine. We'll talk it through with Garrett. Are we really going to trust them with that entire transport ship? It looks like they crashed it on the beach. It's like, do we really need to trust them? Are we... Also, have we may not just caused some kind of massive political spark storm here? If they can come up with a workable plan, then we can analyze it. The future has many potential forms. They'll probably have sorted something out by the time we settle things with Mobius. I guess, yeah. Putting a lot of weight on the speed at which we can finish this. And trust me, <laughs> this is not something that's going to be finished anytime, anytime soon. Sorry to drag you out here. We should probably head back as well. And head back we will. Oh, it's a completed quest. Choices. Vane hoped to survive Mobius by isolating himself from the city, but Monica managed to get him to reconsider. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Yeah, but that means we need to quickly and swiftly move on to another quest. That means we're going to Colony Mew. We need to go to Colony Mew because they've probably sat idly by and done enough thinking and pondering about the future. Because if you remember, when we were in prison, we talked to Fiona in spirit because she absolutely didn't sneak herself into prison to ponder the future of her colony. The position but, is fine, but I foresee difficulties trying to fight on this terrain. Well, that they don't do a lot of fighting. They're a bunch of children. The only fighting they do is of Mobius, but they have, they've had plenty of time to ponder. Can we... Where are my quests? I need the one with Fiona. Unease. Probably want to start that. And start it, we will. Oh, that smells gorgeous. We're not... It's not time for food yet, Fiona. L later, probably. Maybe. Potentially. We can worry about that later. She's still a healer, so that's, that's good for us. Tallow, we have thoughts on the future of Colony Mew. So you want to discuss it with everyone, not just the squad leaders? Apparently, we're discussing the future with everyone. Mm-hmm. I want to handle this properly, since this is such an important issue. I see. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's get a message out. Wait, we might worry everyone if we gather them so suddenly. Senny's right. Let's go and invite them one by one, face to face. That way we can keep an eye on things our well, as well. Ah, oh, sure. In that case, let's split up. Let's say we take four people. How about we have you guys speak to Nico, Lotus, Tesore, and Gugu. Gotcha. I'll send everyone's locations to your iris. Then let's meet up in the square. Got it. Thank you, Tallow. Ah, oh, please, I barely did anything. Thank you for coming me to, for, to me for help. Who is very close by? No one. Who is the closest? I'm getting so nervous. Oh, Fiona, it'll be You're fine. Me nervous too. Senna, you are literally Ouroboros. We could, there's nothing to be nervous about. Nico! Oh, why, if it isn't Fifi, how kind of you to come and see little old Nico, by which I mean me. We're meeting in the square? You make some kind of announcement. Got it. Just let Nico get ready and she'll meet you there shortly. Again, I mean myself. Next up on the list is Lotus, who is right by, close by. Hello, Lotus, you are very short. Hey, Fiona, sorry, I'm still trying to brainstorm today's menu. Fried Gogol. Oh, we're meeting in the square, Ari? I guess I can put the Gogol on the back burners. Slow cook them. We have a big, we have a big crock pot. We can make that work. Mm, good idea, Fiona. All right. Uh, I wonder what this is about. Hopefully, it's new recipe ideas. We've made some new friends. We need some Kvesi food-making techniques. Oh, that smells gorgeous. 
I know, the slow roasted gogol. Oh, it's gonna be incredible, probably. I have no, the flank of a gogol. Tesore, how do you feel about fried gogol? Slow, slow cooked gogol. We're meeting in the square, got it, I'll see you there. I wonder what it's about, kinda exciting for some reason. We're having a uh, colony meeting to, in regards to the spices that is used for the cooking. It's like, uh, we, we, we really, we're out of paprika, so we need to find a new, a new mainstay spice. Fiona suggests cayenne, but it's a bit spicy for some of the finer, more delicate palates. Other than that, though, maybe Gugu, uh, as a Nopon, would have some ideas. And don't suggest the flowers. They're memorial flowers, even if they would look pretty as a garnish. Gugu, meme meet and square. Discuss spices. All right, Gugu, see you there. That's everyone. Back to the square. Can we get there quickly? We have not the quest button. Oh, it would have been quicker if I didn't press the wrong button. Go, 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 go. It's like one black screen that takes 10 seconds. There we go, we're done. It's like I cut, but overlaid my audio, and you wouldn't even know it because I'm in charge of seeming, making these things seem seamless. Seem, seamless. Okay, here we go. We have gathered here today to discuss the seasoning of the slow-cooked Gogol. Also, everyone is here, incredible. I'm sorry for the short notice. I know you all must be a little on edge right now. The gogol, it, it's its almost ready. We just need it like another hour and a half. 90 minutes is all I ask. It's actually what I want to talk about. I've been wondering how to raise morale around here. Does anyone have any ideas? And we've already put into effect the gogol cooking crockpot idea from Gugu. So new idea. We need new ideas. I don't really mind. I'm happy to just follow your instructions, Fifi. It's easy to overthink things when you get so much free time so suddenly. You just want my instructions. Any other ideas? Come on, anyone? Something more concrete, perhaps? And don't suggest making concrete, because that's we don't have the material. We need one of those big trucks. And, you know, good luck getting one from the Agnian Castle, now that it's under lost number command. You, no one's got anything? Don't bring up the concrete or the goggles. I'm serious about that. Well, let's see. Nico, aka me, wants to get us some more provisions. Don't make me do another collectathon, please. And that's why you're in charge of the warehouse, always looking for more food. Come to think of it, didn't the console used to do that for us before? Now we have to take care of that stuff all by ourselves, probably. Oh, uh, the console. Hmm? Hildy, please don't cry. It's all right, Hilda Marie. The worst is over. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. How about we help Nico out and make today's dinner a magnificent feast? We already have the slow cook to gogol, so hopefully by the time we get some more food, that'll be done and incredibly tender. Red meat right off the bone. That sounds great. Let's do goo goo feel raring to go. Oh, you're so cute when you're excited, goo. Sounds like we're all gathering food then. Bring it back here if you find anything at all. As long as it's not Gogol. We have already have like 18,000 pounds worth of Gogol. We've... Ever since Gugu defeated the immovable book Gonzalez, we have like 18,000 pounds of Gogol meat. And it's like, like I said, the crock pot is really big. It's like the size of 10 tents laid on top of each other. Let's do this thing. Hey, we didn't decide who's doing what. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. It'll matter if every single person brings back, like, 10 pounds of crab meat. Oh, I want to gather some ingredients that the others might not be able to find. You want a bit of a challenge, you mean? I'm game. How about we catch some fish? Oh, it's like, as long as everyone else has agreed not to catch fish. There's some absolutely great fishing to be found around Migros Rosary. Yeah, let's get a, a whole bunch and knock everyone's socks off. Uh, we're going fishing. It's time for the fishing episode. This is the fishing episode. Oh, there's a lot of locations. Time to... Well, we can get... Oh my... Everyone shut up all at once. I know the affinity chart is done. This is just one of the exhaust ports of the slow cooker, the crock pot. It's so big we had to bury it, and that's just like one of the several dozen exhaust ports. Can we just, you know, sneak out of this fence area, please? Is there like a gap we can conveniently slip through like maybe around the side oh that's nice where are we going down here we can get the fish from down here okay what fish do we need 
Some crodlaxes. Okay, well, crodlaxes. Let's see how easy these things are. They look like a betta fish. Those, uh, I only know them from Animal Crossing, so I don't... I don't know what the actual name is, but they're those fish. How many do I need? We need five crodlax meat. All right, there's five crodlax around here. Let me let me just go get them really quick, and then we'll go on to the next location. Ten levels weaker than us, and it's not a challenge. There is a unique monster. Oh, that's a big. That's intrusive Neville. He's very intrusive. He gets in the way of all of the parties and the plans. What are we focusing on? Are there fish nearby? You're scaring them all the way. Yeah, shut up, Lan Lan. What is this? Oh, that's Nico. H Hello, Nico. What are you doing over here? Oh, please don't tell me you're after fish as well. Man, if only all the food just magically appeared by itself. Just pulling your leg. Nico knows Nico shouldn't complain. And I'm her. Don't worry. Nico's going to bring back something super duper amazing. What's the next one? The next one is in this direction. And we should be able to... Get there with all due haste in the world. Maybe we have to get some of that coral slime as like a, it's like a, maybe like a sauce. What are those things called? The big thing with the, like the coral reef turtle things on the back. Or maybe we fight some ignas, some igna flanks perhaps? Do we have to fight? I bet we have to fight those things. I have vague memories of fighting. What are they called? What are they called? I need to know. The mo The moglem. Oh, we do. We actually do have to fight the Moglem. All right. Well, these will probably be slightly bulkier than the tidy, tiny betta fish because they are giant things, and we're in the middle of an ocean, so it'll be hard to defeat these things. But the Grylin Mogl, they have big mouths. Oh, they're like angler. They have the little angler fish doodads, but they can be toppled. So all you have to do is just focus on toppling them. Although, considering their size, they are significantly more bulky than what you might have fought in the past. So, again, this is just, you know, they're still 10 levels weaker than us. 9 levels, but, you know, it's around that up, it's 10 whole levels. And all you have to do is just just go for, the, go for all the damage, get maybe like a lucky break and a topple. There we go, we got a, uh, a daze. Can we go for, like, smashing stuff? It's fine, it doesn't matter. This will take, this will probably take far longer than the betta fish. Oh, wave, don't, don't, oh no, don't capsize us or make us drown. Don't drag us out to sea. I'll fight this one guy and then I'll, you know, speed up the rest of them. Because we really don't need to see this three whole times. There's no way for them to do as much. Oh, can they heal themselves? They might have a technique or two that allows them to heal up briefly, but, you know, still not a concern. Oh, we have Ouroboros power. I forgot about that. That might help, you know? We can literally float up above the waves because Ouroboros defies conventional physics. Oh, that was fast. All right, well, neat, I suppose. Helpful. What is the actual thing that we get from these things? Oh, we, we need it to liver. All right, gotcha. Where are more? Are they over there? Yeah, those are the last two we need, so I'm going to go over there and defeat these last two Moglem dudes, and I'll see you when we're done. Once again, of course, because no one ever wants to stick around for the fight you just saw me do. And with that, we have all three pieces of our liver. Nice. Where is the neck? That's significantly further away. Can we just... Can we? Do we have a skip travel point that's slightly closer? Oh, we have to go over where the docks are. Okay, I know where this is. There, We have to go find our boat. If we find our boat, we'll be able to track down whatever fish we need next. Uh, we haven't gotten all the fish yet. We've gotten pretty close. The liver of those moglums are very large. Oh, we're only discovering the barracks now, like an idiot. I haven't come over this way. Why is the gate closed? Can we open the gate? Oh, that's good. Okay, I was about to say. It's like, do I need to do a quest to open the gates? It's like, no, this is the hidden dock. That is where our boat is. Do we need to fight a Serprond? Because if we need to fight a Serprond, I'm going to cry. Lotus, please tell me you're not after a Serprond as well. Mm, Want to know a secret? I actually have the perfect menu right up my sleeve. Just came up with it. I want everyone to cheer up to you, so I'm going to do my best to make that happen. Lotus, you're an incredibly wholesome person. And I appreciate everything you do for all of us. Let Can we can we get on the boat? Oh, can we, can we drive the boat over to where we need to go? Oh my god, it's so much faster. Oh, we do need to fight a Serprond. How I get out? 
Well, I guess we're fighting in the ocean instead of on the, the bow of our boat. Oh, it's a delicious serpent. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. It's literally in the name. It's going to be delicious. Go for the break. Someone get a topple. Oh, you guys are incredible. Go for focus attacks and then attack from the side, even though it's a front attack. We'll be able to take the bull. It'll be oh, this will be so oh, this will be so delicious. Go for another break. Ah, oh, that's fine. That's fine. Maybe we go here. Meal. Ouroboros up. Uh, switch up, switch up, switch up, switch to Noah. Noah's more powerful with his mega spinning edge, phantom slash, and bounding ends. Let's just go for the uh, maximum damage. That's the only thing that matters at the moment. We don't need to worry about overheating or anything like that because it's already at half HP. Oh, we might be able to. We might be able to. Okay, we good. We got the mega spinning edge before we uh, overheated, which is incredible. We have to do what Tyon says and push through. Hopefully, we only need to fight one of these things. Lightning Storm. Oh, it's really high up. Can we break it, please? Thank you. Topple? Anyone? Oh, we bound it, which is fine. Maybe we could, you know, topple? Topple? Or just kill it? I mean, that's fine. Please let it only be one. Did we get it? Oh, we have to go back now. Okay, well, that's good. Well, we must have got what we needed. I didn't see what kind of meat. I'm just going to assume we're hauling back the entire Serprond. Because if we're doing anything else, I'm going to be wickedly upset. It's like, we did not kill this entire Serprond. Wait, it, it's, can't, it can't be raining. It, yeah, okay, the sea is cool, but it cannot be raining when we have this special dinner. What did I just say? Game, it cannot be raining. Like, like genuinely, it, stop raining. I will change time. So many things. So many. Fine, fine. If 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 the world wants to cry about the death of the most delicious serpent, then I will helpfully oblige. Fiona, we will just set up an extra few tents, and it'll be you know lovely. Sorry for making everyone. Although at some point I did rewind time, so no extra time has passed. It's raining, we can just set up some of the tents. We have more of those tents. We'll just set up a few of those, and then we can all have a grand old time so under the rain. It'll smell delicious. The, really like the slow-cooked gogol, all of the serprons, it'll be lovely with the smell of, like, fresh rain on the grass and the ozone. Oh, oh, oh it'll be delicious. We come bearing gifts full of bountiful foods. And umbrellas. Hey, Fifi, it looks like everyone's back now. Thanks, Hildekins. You got a good eye. Uh, it's way too early in the day for me to attempt to do Chiny Child laughing like that. So now what? Who's going first? Why don't we just go together? I don't want to get stressed out over this. That's our turkey tallow. Oh my god, I could go for some turkey right now. No Tyrkin head this time. You're just full of your Tyrkin related digs, aren't you? Want to give us our cue, Fifi? Okay, sure. Ready, everyone? Let's go! 108 pieces of aromatic crawdlax meat have been collected. 89 top-quality moglum livers have been collected. And three whole rich serpron collar cuts. Oh, we just cut off their collars. That means we're leaving the entire rest of the thing. Or, well, Lance can eat it a lot. He can have the rest of it. I can't believe everyone's gone fishing. This is why I said to do something else. It's a good thing we have the Gogol in the, as a backup. Now that's a funny coincidence. What I want to know is who among you is strong enough to kill two entire Serprons? Everyone loves fish so much. People here are truly people of Gugu. This is exactly the kind of thing that could lift everyone's spirits. 3,000 kilograms of Serpron shoulders. Everyone had the same idea. Amazing. I know, I can't believe it. I guess today's dinner is going to be a total fish jamboree, plus the gogol. That's about done. Considering it took us, some of us, an entire day and night, and then back around again to make it. So we're having a jamboree? Hey, uh, pardon me, but what's a jamboree? It's when everyone eats some tasty grub and has a ton of fun together. 
Irma taught us about it. She always told us to take breaks and have fun once in a while. Having a jamboree always brings everyone closer. I simply love them. I adore them. Throwing a party is fine and all, but don't you think we should work on being a bit more organized before that? Okay, the music as well as the conversation has taken a drastic turn. That's why I said we should decide who does what, but you'd already gone by then. Huh? What do you mean? Well, you know, like, you follow the beat of your own drum sometimes. You have to make a little compromises to work together with everyone sometimes. Are you saying that it's my fault? I'm not, I'm not assigning blame. I'm just saying that everyone left by the time I even floated the idea of maybe not, you know, everyone doing their own thing. Because, you know, that's how we left. We get left with like 18,000 pounds of Google meat and Serp on shoulders. That's not what I said at all. Exactly. It's just like we're just reiterating. Yes, you did. You think you're so much better just because Fiona came to you for help. And hey, 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 take it easy. Cool down. And just leave, just, just, just take it easy, leave it here, just, just take a step back. Oh dear, what's going on? I thought we were having a jamboree. Nothing. I'm sorry, but I think I'm gonna eat alone today. I want some of that gogol meat. Mmm, gogol. Oh, that wasn't like you, Talalu. Well, it's all part of the job. Looks like I've got my work cut out for me. Irma's left some pretty big shoes to fill. I can't leave them empty. Talalu? Don't worry, it won't happen next time. I'm sorry for worrying you. Is that lad gonna be okay? And what did he mean by next time? Well, presumably they are going to have to hunt for more stuff. You know, they may be kids, but they do have to eat. And like, the fish, if it's not properly prepared, it's going to go bad quite quickly. Oh boy, a completed quest. Well, that left it off on... Oh, excuse me. A rather sour note. Oh, so that's how they're doing. Is there anything else for us to do? It's because it was raining. Oh, it's, uh, it's because I didn't set the mood properly. Dang it. Are there anything oh, else? So there doing. should be more quests, I think. Probably. Our area map. Nothing? Seriously? I am kind of shocked. Maybe there's some gossip. There might be. Let me just do a quick check around. Oh, that smells gorgeous. I know, I want some of I want some of that uh gogo meat as well. Is there no gossip at all? I would have thought that there would have oh okay, okay, good, 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 good. Gossip. Tallow's going around with such a condescending attitude lately. Okay, good, it's continuing. I know, the guys are really into ordering us around, huh? Well, hey, the sun! I yeah, I, Mio, shut up. Or Uni, I can tell you I don't care for his tone. We're not his subordinates after all. Tallow's reputation. It's taking a nosedive. Well, now that the sun is out, hopefully we'll be able to solve this post-haste. Let me, let me see. Let me, oh, there's the other one. There we go. Good. So out of Lan Lan and Gugu, who do you think's cuter? Oh, this, something tells me this does not have anything to do with Tallow. Lan Lan has the cuter nickname, I'd say. Though it's a shame he always feels like he has to have an answer for everything. You listen, you listen, Ang Lans? You need to shut up about your condescending attitude. It sounds like a scoop, do you say? Oh, well, I suppose if you want to have a in-depth chat about your nickname, I'm all for it. I just, I want to find this gossip. If we find this gossip, we can leave the episode off on a cliffhanger. Oh, there we go. How did I miss you? Once you get a taste of Lotus's fish pies, you'll be through your tent before you even know it. Oh, Lotus, the fish pies. Oh, is that what they made? They make you ready to take on anything. Okay, something tells me this also has nothing to do. All making sense. No, it's a fish pie, Senna. Oh, all of this gossip. We're going to have to talk about it. Oh, here we go. talo has been working himself to the bone, the fish bone. He wasn't like this before, was he? It's a curse. Could be because Irma's gone now. Or because he's cursed. Why do you have such an affinity for that idea? Do you think he feels like he has to prove himself as our new lieutenant? There we go. All right, let's talk about some things. Got some useful intel out of that. I suppose it's not pointless info. Maybe we can, we'll talk about some food. There's three topics, there's four topics to talk about. Presuming, presumably none of them give any quests. We'll eat later. We have to talk business before food. 
Okay, so that's that. We want to do cooking, nicknames, not on cooking, and then Talos reputation, and then we'll be good to go. So, uh, not on cooking came first. Everyone, a moment of your time? Probably talking about fish. Say, Manana, I think we all agree that your cooking is absolutely delicious and filling, but isn't it a burden for you to always cook by yourself? Ah, uh, don't get Noah wrong. It's great. It's just you got four more months to feed. Four more mouths to feed than when you were in Agnes. No needing for concerning. Cooking is entire life of Manana. Food from colony canteens is fine and all, but when it comes to feeding friends, Manana want to do it by self. Can adjust menu based on preferences and dietary requirements. We'll not get similar servants in canteen, that for sure. Manana's cooking is really what lets us face every day with a renewed vigor. Needless to say, hehe. <laughs> Or so Manana front, but actually wouldn't mind eating at colony canteens from time to time. Can be good to get ideas for recipes by sample what world have to offer, and then rework and friends have sample. Well that's fantastic then. Food for our tums and for Manana's thought. Uh, two anzels, one stone. Speaking of, if we can get some anzel meat for the next uh, few days, that'll be delicious. I have a new recipe idea. I found some honey in one of the trees one of these days, the past few days ago, and I was like, mmm, this will make a nice glaze for some anzel haunch. That's exactly right. Manana look forward to never stop expanding repertoire as long as live. Good. I hope they're all that short and cute. Uh, speaking of food, we need to talk about the Everyone, cooking. A moment of your time? That serpron, though, we need to find more serpron shoulders. It seems that fish pies are a popular colony new dish. Yeah, it looked like it. All of those serprons? No, Tyon, please don't tell me. Uh oh. Indeed, I have decided to try and prepare a fish pie myself. We should let Manana have some well deserved rest after all. Concern of friend is touching, but completely unnecessary. If fish pie is the desire of heart, then Manana prepare with gladness. Look, 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 Manana, I understand your apprehension, but I really do want to assure you. Having performed a comprehensive study of multiple cuisines, I am utterly confident of my ability to avoid a mishap like before. Mishap? Disaster more like. Study cooking and cook cooking are two completely different things. Not to worry, provided the data is solid, it should be sufficient to follow the steps as outlined for the outcome to be assured. And therefore, I have prepared the 20 herbs and 30 spices as required by the improved recipe database. That kind of amateurish arrangement is root of all problems in this world. 30 whole spices. You have no idea how they're going to clash with each other or interrupt the taste profiles. You need, at most, Four or five, would it could have like a flavor profile that changes as it goes back to the back of the tongue, and it's like sour on the, not sour, maybe, maybe there could be a hint of sourness, but there's like the spicy on the front end, and then as it travels back, you got that umami, and it'll be, a, it'll be a lovely thing, but if you have 30 whole spices, it'll just be a bleh 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 on your tongue. Hey. And speaking of bleh bleh bleh, we have to talk about Lan Lan, your nickname. Speaking of, hey Lan Lan. Please don't. But why, Lan Lan? Don't you like your name, Lan Lan? You keep that up and I'll start calling you Union. How about that? Just kill me and be done with it. So me then, I'd be No-No, maybe? And I'm Sen- We've already discussed that you're Senny, Senna. Mio Mio? If you were a Nopon, perhaps. It sounds like a bird call. These all don't exactly trip off the tongue, do they? And for Tyon? Tie tie? On on? Tie on? Yep, that's the one. But that's just my name? Well, you know, there's that subtle pause in between the first and second syllable of the name, so I mean, tie on? It's kind of, it's it's got that uh, cutesy nop on speak to it. Either way, uh, serious topic time. Ra Rallo's reputation. Nope, we're, we have to travel, <laughs> we have to travel to the barracks. Okay, everyone, wait, okay, hold on. No, 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 we're not done yet. Now that we have had talked about food for so much, now we can order some food. Sunny style fish pie. Speaking of all the fish pies, it's time to eat some fish pies. Oh, look at it. It's perfectly rectangular and a pile of soup and some nice golf ball sized berries. It's incredible. Oh, such a delicious thing. Now that our stomachs are satiated and tummies are full, 
Now we can go to the barracks to sleep and talk about Tallow and his nosediving reputation. Oh, you're not going to automatically put me there. I have to do this myself. How can considerate of you, there? game. Can we clean our clothes? It's one okay, interruption after the other. You. But as everyone who's watched this channel knows, I get distracted at the drop of a hat, so it's easy to do. Uh, now we can talk about Tal's reputation. That's the goal. Hey, so, we've been hearing talk around Colony Mew about Tallow. He doesn't seem very popular, does he? They seem really uneasy about him. He certainly tries really hard, but opinion is split between those who want to support him and those who feel anxious and question why he's the one in charge. Opinions on Tallow aside, I'm also quite worried about how the colony seems to be falling out of harmony. Yeah, I would echo Noah's assessment on this. Until now, everyone teamed up under your leadership, just trying to survive. But now they have no single fixed objective, and everything's been thrown into disarray. Well, that's how it seems to me, at least. People seem to be quarreling a lot more, too. And I've been talking to Tallow as well. But everyone has their own opinions and feelings on the subject. What a mess. Everyone just wants to make the colony a better place, and yet this is the result. If things carry on like this, it might not just be Tallow they start to lose trust in. It could be you as well, Fiona. Oh, I don't mind if people talk badly about me. This all happened because of me, after all. But Tallow's just been thinking about what he can do after what happened with Irma. He's been trying so, so hard. I have to honor those feelings, too. Are you okay, Fiona? Oh, please don't push yourself to breaking. You've been giving me such good advice. I don't want to squander it. So I don't plan on giving in. I want to overcome this no matter how hard it gets. In other words, you just want to survive. Uh, yeah. What do you want to do? Shall we gather everyone in the square again? No, we already tried that. I think this time I'll go talk to everyone myself. How about you do it in the canteen? You could probably bring up things quite naturally. No one will bat an eyelid. Ah, yes, the canteen. We're really hungry again. Those fish pies, they just go straight through you. Thanks for the advice, Mayo. It may be frustrating, but we'll be right there, by your side, ready to support you. The colony will get better, one step at a time. All right, I'll do my best to make that happen. To face forward, another quest. They just keep coming and coming, and they don't stop coming. Can we train? No. We probably will save after the episode is over, Everyone's so I don't... Lose progress. Okay, what are we doing? Let's, let's, we'll talk to people really quick and see if... If everything is still in the colony, we'll push for however long it takes. But if we have to leave for any reason, we're done. Can I have everyone's attention, please? It's time to unveil the fried Gogol. Hmm, tallow. Sorry if I caught you mid-mouthful. You're gonna want to taste this. Today, Shu and I have a little proposition for you. And it's called a progress point card. And what's that supposed to be? Thank you for asking, Michaela. Since we don't have to fight anymore, I'm sure you've all been struggling for stuff to do. That's why we've come up with something to solve that very problem. Take a look. This is a point... Point... Point program? The progress point guard. Yes, right, that's the one. You already forgot the name of your own idea? Don't worry, it's simple enough that even a Tyrkin head like him can use it. If you report to Tallow every time you contribute to the colony, or help someone, or do whatever like that, he'll give you a point and a sticker for every contribution you make. And what happens if we get lots of them? Then you'll become the lieutenant. Really? Pardon me? What did you just say? Wait, Fiona didn't know about this either? Th this is the first I've heard of it. We figured that whoever contributes the most to the colony is, by definition, qualified to be the lieutenant. I thought this could be the best, fairest way to pick a lieutenant and take some weight off Fiona at the same time. I know you've been worrying about stuff with me as your lieutenant, Fiona. This is the least I could do. Oh, Tallow. But still, this is pretty sudden. No need to think too hard about it. You'll do fine. You're always helping everyone out around the colony anyway. Ayase. Ayase. You'll just be picking up stickers for it at the same time now. Stickers, huh? And we stick them to that card you've got there? 
I bet it would look cute covered in stickers. Yeah, we designed it that way. Doesn't it motivate you to cute it up? Yeah, it sure does. That's our shoe. Oh, you know us so well. It's just like him to do his research. Resourceful as ever. Let's try it, Aya. It sounds like it could be fun. Besides, it doesn't seem like it'll be much different to what you already do. Also, I stayed up all night making these cards, so if you don't use it, I'll be so sad. Please use them. It took me like six hours. <laughs> I really need to sleep. If you all insist. Right, I've got high hopes for you, Ayase. Is that a challenge, Tyrkinhead? Come on now, play nice, you two. I want a card. Give me eight of them. Shoot, do you mind if I have a card too? Huh? But you're our commander. I want to take part as well. You and Tella worked so hard to come up with this idea after all. Oh, all right. Of course. Here you go. One card. A point card. I'm sorry for not telling you beforehand, Fiona. Tella was worried about getting you too involved in it, since the idea was to ease your workload. Oh, it's okay. I understand. You watch. I'm going to get a bunch of stickers. This is the sticker episode, as well as the Google episode, as well as the fish episode. Things have just gotten interesting. Sorry, I really don't know what came over me. Don't even worry about it. Collecting stickers sounds like a lot of fun to me. I'm gonna kick all your asses at this. I think the point whizzed right past Lance's head. Right over his head. Even though he's very tall, the points do tend to do that. The points are quite tall. So we have to help out around the colony and then report it to Tallow, if I recall. So anyway, let's see if we can't get five stickers or so. How about it? Mission accepted. I wonder if there's anything we can do to help nearby. Chances are, there is, because, you know, we're Ouroboros and we do everything. Oh, that is a l Stop talking. Okay, we'll talk. Stop talking. We'll talk to the whoever is Nico. This is probably Nico. We'll talk to Nico and then end the episode, because we're quickly approaching the time limit. So, like, Nico, that's me, noticed something at the recent fishy party. Raw food doesn't last for long. It all has to be eaten on the spot, and that's even if there are whole net loads of them to munch or wait. It all has to be eaten on the spot, and that's even if there are whole net loads of them to munch your way through. You're right. We really have to find some other foodstuffs. It's the Gogol. It, I, I realize Tallow has said on like three separate occasions that it's ready to eat, but we keep, you know, pulling more and more stuff off. It's like pulled pork, but you know, pulled, pulled uh, Gogol. But it's it. The further we go down, it's just, it's not ready. It's not cooked yet. It's still raw. The further we go down, it needs more time. It needs more time. Have you thought about stockpiling a bunch of preserved foods? I could tell you some simple things to make if you want. You do that for us? Sun drying and preserving with salt? Oh, we could probably do those. Nico, in other words, I, can start making the salt right away, which then leaves the ingredients. Hmm. Now that I'm here, I might as well help with procuring the ingredients. Yeah, you're an absolute lifesaver, Tai Tai. Just make sure you bring anything tasty looking back to my place, okay? Oh my gosh, we have to deliver more food. Which one was it again? Oh, how, how do you feel about peachy truffles? Oh, we have enough. Probably. Oh, I really hope... Well, we, we have completely wiped out our peachy truffle collection. Hopefully we don't need those for anything else. You've been such a massive help. Thank you so much. Preserved foods go off easily when there's moisture around. Make sure that moisture doesn't get inside the stores. It's unfortunate that you live next to an ocean, but, you know, just make sure everything is duct taped with the quality of a hermetic seal. Nico he hears you, loud and clear. We've still got ingredients to cut up and dry, don't we? Do you mind helping out a little more? No need, you've got to look after the others, after all, Fifi. And besides, if there's anyone who can help me out with all of this food-making, smoking stuff, it'll be Hildy. I'll go ask her for help. All right, I'll let you handle the rest then. You can count on Nico. I'll go ahead and report this to Talalu. You remember who Nico is, right? It is I, Nico, and it is I, Thionite, ending the episode. This can be of some use to you. What are you talking about? The salt? This is perfect. Thank you, Tyon. Did you give Fiona the truffle? You have to give the truffles to Nico, who is over there and in charge of all of the food. But you gotta, you, that was a small taste of the quest that we're starting the next next episode with. Because look at all of these, all of these markers. We're going to have to do all of these. You could just look at all of the markers and objectives that we have. This episode was full of stuff to do. We helped out. Uh, Monica, 
with some, yeah, we're that's what the end of the episode is for. Chronologing, chronologicalizing. It's certainly not for articulating your thoughts properly. So whether you guys watched for 30 seconds or the entire thing, thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next episode where we go around Colony Mew and deal with all of these requests. See you later.